everyone and welcome to another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I'm of course your host Aaron and today we are going to have a special discussion because there is a lot of hoopla going on around all these new Naruto Funko Pops. So let's just discuss them. So let's get ready for a great time and some Naruto talk on 8 Minutes with Aaron. If you couldn't tell, I am quite the Naruto fan. I started watching it years ago. The first episode I ever watched was by my friend John. He showed me the Zabuza fight with Kakashi, Sakura, and of course, that Tazawa guy. And you know, I can't forget that good old Naruto. So lately there's been a lot of posting online about new Funko Pops that are being released. Not only next week are they releasing the Jirai with the two popsicles, takes you back to a scene in Naruto where he breaks in half and gives Naruto one side and he takes the other side. Boy, you're getting awfully picky all of a sudden. Here, want one? You've come far and all on your own. <laughs> It's delicious. One of those bonding moments, cause you know Naruto, he didn't get a lot of those. And now they are coming out with a hot topic, Naruto on, I might butcher the name. Ah, uh, it's, it's wrong. Now, the thing about this is, I am not too pleased about the size relation. Now, I do like the fact that he is standing on his back. He did summon him back in the day when he was learning how to do uh, the regular summoning for the big toad which I don't think is the same one. This is his son. So I guess the little smaller version is all right. But when he came stage mode and he fought against pain, he was definitely huge. And Naruto was a miniature figure on top of this dude's head. So I think they could have made Naruto maybe a, you know, four inch, and then they could have made the Gamachi, uh, you know, a 10 inch, made it a little size difference. I don't care what the price would have been. Any Naruto fan was gonna get it, right? Of course. But I like the design of it, and as I was saying, he first summoned him when he was trying to, you know, do the summoning technique uh, with Jiraiya back in the day. Then he summoned him again when he was fighting against Aruchimaru in the Forest of Death. Uh, I'm sorry, Gara. He was fighting Gara. Uh, I'm actually watching this uh, recurrently, so I don't know why I'm messing that up. But yes, he did summon him when he was fighting against Gara. And then he summoned the big one, and then he turned him into the Nine Tails with something with teeth and fangs to grab the Shikaku, cause Gara, of course, turned into the first Biju. So that was sweet. So I am excited about the Hot Topic releasing this. I don't know when. I am kind of sad that they always post these pictures, and I know they're probably coming out on the West Coast. But I'm always watching my Instagram, so Hot Topic, don't fail me. And then they have other ones like. Uh, they have Naruto, Sage, Naruto from the series, so why am I here saying that? They have Sage, Madra, Ucha, um, a Funko Pop where he's, you know, in Sage mode after he collects all the, you know, nine Bijus or, Jin, you know, he becomes a Tentails Jinjurkin. Uh, they're gonna come out with another Itachi Funko Pop, it seems, you know, you can't get enough of that. I got the box lunch one, which I'm, it might be at my parents' house, so I'll have to check when I go over there. And then they got a few other ones which I'm really psyched about. They got Killer B. I wonder if they're going to do him in like in a cool pose with all his swords. Uh, they have a young Kakashi and I think they mentioned that there were going to be a chase version with that. So I'm going to say one with the Sharingan and one without the Sharingan. The chase version would probably be the Sharingan. Uh, and they're coming out with I guess a larger scale Naruto as four tails when he fought, you know, uh, Jiraiya and when he fought Orochimaru at the bridge. Uh, they're coming out with, you know, one of the uh, Jonins who did a teleportation technique. Uh, the guy who um, takes a, the war picks out of him and he can make him win the water. He fought against Hayden when Asuma died. Uh, he's not that cool. Uh, they got young Naruto when he's a child, so, you know, that's pretty neat. I think they should have made other Funko Pops before then. And then I see another Madra, which is probably one from a previous one. And then they got, you know guy which they should have came out with him in eight gates form if anything and then they have akiba with akamara which is you know for a while has been rumored to come out now i'm not sure if these are all going to be exclusive some of them i'm sure they will 
Uh, I do think that they'll probably swim between Hot Topic and Box Launch because that seems to be the common thing. I don't know if Funko's ever released a Naruto uh, Funko Pop. It's exclusive. I know they're, they've recently done the Dragon Ball Z, the Great Saiyan Man, and then they just released the two other versions of the Great Saiyan Man and Great Saiyan Woman. But I know there's a lot of other characters and Naruto figures uh, that should be made. A lot of people want a Hinata. I don't know why. Uh, I think I saw that they were going to make a Sakura where she unlocked the, the gate, the healing forbidden gate, whatever it's called. Uh, nah, I, don't, I don't really. Uh, I saw a post where they said they were going to come out with um, all of the tail beasts. Which would be sweet, you know, they'd make them like, what, 10 inches? You know, that'd be, you know, like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Egyptian God ones. Then I would say, cool. And then at, you know, 9 a.m. and then the last one would have to be the size of, you know, Galactus. So real big for the Ten Tails. I, that would be the only thing that would be acceptable. But I'm sure they want to come out with more Baruto action figures. Uh, I keep saying action figures. Funko Pops. Yeah, they're action figures too. I'm sure if I slammed them together, I can they break. Yeah, I don't think they'd uh, survive what I used to do with my Beanie Babies, fighting them like Dragon Ball Z characters. But I am very excited about anything Naruto related. I was going to get the pins. I didn't get those. And next week I got to camp out, as I mentioned before, for the Jiraiya. And then I'm going to have to hope and cross my fingers that I can get through the Funko site to get the Jimi Hendrix and the Dadara. But I want to thank you for joining me on 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am, of course, your host Aaron, and this has been a little, you know, snippet out of the norm of opening Funko Pops, and we're talking about Naruto, because I love Naruto. And once I do get, you know, the Apache Funko Pop from Box Lunch, I'll definitely show it. And I'm really psyched about the Naruto uh, on Gamachi. Even though it's not size related, and I'm kind of complaining about that, it's still an awesome Funko Pop. And the Rudo looks sick. The design on him is amazing. His hair looks really bright for some reason, and I just just could have made him a little bit bigger. Just when he arrives, when he fights pain, he's he's a little bit blip. He's a blip on his head. He's a blip on his head. And I know he didn't do much. Wait, was he that big? Yeah, he was that big. Yeah, I don't like me to go back on my work. Yeah, I know the size proportions are, are irrelevant right now, but they should. They should be relevant. All right, everyone. I will see you later. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time on 8 Minutes with Aaron. Have a good one. Bye-bye.